Barak goes in, rainy season goes in. Under Trois goes up, we're ready. 2400, marathon trip in front of them and they're dispatched. Came out nicely, White Fang will be looking to go and lead them from that inside barrier gate. Rainy season's there in second. Barak is racing a lot closer to the pace today in third. Under Trois, the filly racing in fourth, four lengths off them, traveling Wilbury, the light blue, the yellow jacket of black thorn, and then comes Western Fort out back, but no more than six lengths off the leader. Up towards the last 2,000 meters they go, and White Fang is a one length leader. Rainy season is bang there in second. Then comes in third, Barak. Further back in the field, racing in fourth is Under Twa. Traveling Wilbury, the light blue is racing in fifth, but no more than four and a half lengths off the leader. Blackthorn got the yellow jacket, one from last. And Western Fort is saving his dash for late in the day. He's got about eight lengths to make up. Up towards the last 1,400 meters they go. And out in front is White Fang. In second is Rainy Season. Barak is racing in third. Then comes Under Twa. Racing in fourth on her lonesome. Traveling Wilbury, the light blue jacket in fifth. Then we go back to Blackthorn. And Western Fort is still at the back end of the field as they just amble along up towards the last 1,200 meters. And it's still White Fang. Nothing's changed. In second is Rainy Season. Barak been given every chance this afternoon, racing in third. There's a bit of a move now from the back end of the field. Under Twa still right there, no more than five lengths off them. Traveling Wilbury, Blackthorn, and Western Fort is still the back marker, now nine lengths off the gallop. There's about 1,000 meters left to run. And out in front is White Fang. He's very strong from here. He's got cheap fractions today. He's a one-length leader. Barak is in second. Rainy season in third. Under Trois in fourth. Then comes Travelling Wilbury. They've got to know each other really well. The yellow of Blackthorn and Western Fort is still about six lengths off the speed. Homeward bound. They greet the judge for the first time. And White Fang hasn't been asked any questions yet. Barak's come off the bit. Rainy season. The orange sleeves is in third. Now Western Fort has come right out for his run. He's hard up towards the outside. And he's made inroads very quickly. Blackthorn under Trois and Travelling Wilbury's gone towards the end inside. 400 meters left to go. They're using the entire width of the straight. Western Fort, White Fang, Blackthorn has worked into the race smartly. Inside is Barak, Travelling Wilbury, Under Twa still got running with rainy season, but Blackthorn has gone for home, has gone a length and a half clear. Under Twa heard the call in second with Barak and Travelling Wilbury, but Blackthorn, this is a good performance, going to win hard held. Blackthorn wins going away. Under Twa second, Barak third, and Travelling Wilbury in fourth. So Blackthorn, four-year-old son of Pomodoro, out of the dynasty mayor Ebony Rose, well into the Hollywood syndicates, nominee Anthony Dalpesh to Owen, to Devon. They run a massive operation to Hollywood. And it's good to see that they've supported the Sean Terry outfit in a big way. Blackthorn wins convincingly. Under Trois will get second, just ahead of Barak, who was given every chance today, no excuses. Traveling Wilbury in fourth. White Fang faded out, and Rainy Season has finished towards the back with Western Fort. So as they came for home, they all decided to use the entire width of the track. Western Fort came out for his run. Unfortunately, it didn't last too long. And Blackthorn smack bang in the center, went about his business quietly, and he now becomes a three-time winner from 10 outings, bred by Clavifle Stud Farm. And based on today's victory, I think there's lots more to come. Four-year-old son of Pomodora, number six, Blackthorn, comes through for his third career win from only 10 starts. Craig Zaki gets him home for winning trainer Sean Terry, bred by the Clava Flestad, owned by Hollywood Syndicate nominee Anthony Dalpesh. Number five has finished back in second, under Troy from the Ashley Fortune Stable with Calvin Habib. Third, going the way off, the favourite number three, Barrack, from the Mike de Cox stable with Muzi Yeni. And the quartet rounded off with the four, travelling Wilbury, Lucky Hudalakis and Gavin Lorena. All right, so just about to return into the winner's enclosure is Blackthorn, number six, four-year-old son of Pomodoro. 
Out of the dynasty mare, Ebony Rose, bred by Claverflay Stunt Farm. Good ride, Craig Zaki. Well done to Sean Terry, the Hollywood Syndicate. Anthony Dalpesh is the nominee. To Owen, Devon, everybody at the Hollywood Syndicate. I know they run a successful and big operation. And it's good to see that their silks are being rewarded. A good clever ride from Craig Zaki. And six Blackthorn has won at nine rand 40 a win and four rand a place. Second goes to number five, Under Twa, two rand 30 a place. Third goes to number three, Barak. And fourth was number four, Travelling Wilbury. Stand by for the all clear. There's just one more to come from the big T, and that will be race number nine, with the next Turfantine race meeting being on Monday, the 15th of November. Number six, Blackthorn, the four-year-old son of Pomodora, comes through for his third career victory from only 10 starts. And he notches up another win over this 2,400 metre event. This time round with Craig Zaki, who gets aboard him for the first time. Well done. Thanks, Jules. Yeah, you didn't obviously know too much about him on the course. I don't know, but I'm sure you've worked him back at home, but he's come through nicely to win a good race. Yeah, he definitely won a nice race. Um, I don't know him. I don't think I've done a lot of work on him, but... I mean, if anyone really looked into that last run of his, um, they had to consider him being a huge runner. And, I mean, I got into the ring and Mr. Terry just gave me a lot of confidence. So I'm just glad everything's panned out well. Yeah, he's come through very nicely to win and uh, you've ridden a good race, so well done. Thanks, Jules. Um, it's always easy on about nice horses. They, they, you just really have to steer them now and again. So just all credit to Mr. Terry. Great training feet to his team back at home. I'm just fortunate enough to be at board this horse at the right time and to Hollywood. Always a pleasure in their silks. And to Maurice Pinson of Wachabostrup. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Well done to Craig Zaki. Well done, Sean. I tell you what, nice win. And it looks like he's enjoying this 2,400 metre trips. I know he won his penultimate start at Scottsville and uh, it wasn't too long. You gave him a bit of a rest, pretty much a second run after rest and he's back in the winner's enclosure. Yes, Jules, I must just say thanks again to, to Hollywood, uh, Anthony and Owen. Obviously, um, you know, it's hard to recommend horses and then they, you know, they prove you wrong. You don't look so good. So uh, I, I thought highly of this guy and um, I'm glad he's done what we've expected of him. Um, obviously, we, well done to Pomodoro. It's always a pleasure to train one of his progeny. And unfortunately, they do need a bit of time. You can't mm. rush them as three-year-olds and... Uh, Obviously, with the changes going on in the yard and me having a lot of Pomodoras as well, sort of hard to uh, let them go too easily. And uh, I've kept a few back and one or two like this. And, and, and thankfully, uh, this one's come through. But again, big thank you to Hollywood, to my uh, team at home. This is Jason's new horse because we had to sell one of his horses on the sale. <laughs> so this was his, his replacement. So he's very happy to... To lead in the winner with me. Yeah, and I think he's going to have a lot of fun with this one. I think so too. Yeah, congratulations. I'm feeling pretty old at the moment, Sean, looking at your sons. It's amazing how time flies. Sure. But you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. And I think uh, in racing, the fun has just begun. Absolutely. Well done. Thank you. Congratulations. Yep, that's uh, on a positive note. It is number six, Black Thorn, the four-year-old son of Pomodora from the Sean Terry stable under Craig Zaki. That comes through to win our eighth race, our penultimate race at Turfentine. And well done to winning breeders, Claver Flaystad, to winning owners, Hollywood Syndicate, nominee Anthony Dalpesh.